Conor McGregor, welcome to Abu Dhabi. I think f arriving on a yacht to overlook the arena you're fighting in might be the biggest mixed martial arts flex I've ever seen. <laughs> I tell you what, the game is rising. A rising tide raises all ships, so it's my pleasure to, to raise the bar. Was the hotel room everything you expected? Yeah, it was actually, to be honest. You know, they, they looked after me here at the W. A lot of thoughtful things for myself and my children. I'm very grateful for that. I'm very thankful. And, you know, we've done the 48 hours quarantine pretty smoothly. The kids were well entertained and well kept busy, you know, between the little play areas that they had for them and then the suites and all this type of stuff. So we're happy to be out of it now. I enjoyed the embedded where uh, they gave you a whiskey, but they put it in a case so you can't get at it before Sunday. Yeah, and they said they have the key, and I was like, hey, look, I'll get the key, if, or I'll get into that box if I wanted to get into that box. But I look, it was the big one as well, the 1.7. See, I was going to say, it made me laugh so much that you actually spotted the size of it right away. Yeah, of course, I've laid in, of course I did, yeah. Uh, so I, I look forward to getting uh, into that box after the fight. I, I'm sure you've been asked about the fight sort of every which way now. You've done the media, you're back on the circuit again. But... Are you still sticking with that 60 second prediction? I just, yeah, I am. I don't, you know, I don't foresee him being able to withstand the power, you know, or, or, or taking the shots. I'm, it's not necessarily a slight on, it's actually no slight on Dustin. It's just confidence in my preparation. However, I do want rounds in here, you know what I mean? So I, I, if we can get past that, Mark, I will be celebrating for sure. So I'm eager to go. And then also there's, you know, they've been saying about like conditioning issues and these type of things that that's like... That's a slight on my name and, you know, part of me may, may want to just bust them up and take a back step and, and get into the later rounds, you know, so that's that's what I see possibly happening also. Is there, is there, potentially it's a benefit for you to get the minutes in there, right? You haven't been able to spend time in the cage, so is there part of you that thinks yeah. it would actually be better mm. if I didn't finish it early? Yeah, I would love I would love to get some rounds in here on, on Sunday morning, for sure. So it doesn't usually work out that way, Oscar, you know, that's and especially where I'm at now, so... We'll see what happens. So would the policy going into this fight be you've beat him McGregor fast before, but McGregor faster on Sunday? Well, that's the goal, yeah. We're looking to get a, a cleaner shot and a better time. I wanted to ask you a few things outside of, of your fight this weekend. What did you make of Max Holloway's performance mm. last Saturday? I thought it was a solid performance. Uh, you know, he fought an up-and-comer. He done well. Yeah, I was actually doing an interview there and he skateboarded by the window. And I was like, what? Was that Max Holloway? Uh, so he's obviously hanging around and uh, yeah, fair play to him, more power to him. He's definitely in the pipeline for the belt against me, for sure. I would happily rematch Max and after a performance like that, he's put himself right up there. Do you believe Dana's point that he doesn't really fit at 155 or do you think he just needs to take the time to put on the weight properly? Well, he's a tall lad, he's taller than me, so he could do it, he could build up, but you know... He, he's only fought at 155 once, he fought against us and he was a bit outpowered, but... He could certainly do it, and against you know, against other lightweights, you never know. So, but me and him, the rematch would be 155 for sure. I'm interested in you know the you keep talking about your boxing's improving, the weight on your shots is improving. Some people would traditionally say, well, you can't really mix boxing training with MMA training because the stances and such are different. Mm -hmm. What is the boxing training adding to your MMA technique? You know, I'm certainly more stable and connected to the floor. Um, and then I can flash it up, you know what I mean? I can, I can, I can go through all styles. I can paint many pictures inside that octagon. And it's just another, another wrinkle in my, in, in my beautiful suit, you know what I mean? So I look forward to getting in and showcasing all my skills, you know what I mean? The, the boxing is certainly prevalent, but I'm flying through the air also, you know what I mean? So I'm ready for it all. Talking of boxing, if you had to make a pick, does Tyson Fury need to box like he did in the first Wilder fight or the second Wilder fight to beat Anthony Joshua? That's an interesting one, because he came forward against uh, Wilder. And I believe, you know, Wilder's a lot smaller than him, 40 pounds, I believe, the weight difference was. I would imagine he would be uh, lighter on the feet and, uh, you know, not as press forward. You know, he'd probably pick his pockets. But, you know, Anthony's a powerful man. He's not the cleanest boxer, tech, you know, technically, but he's powerful and he has his fundamentals down. Um, be an interesting bout to see how both men would approach it. I'd be certainly interested to watch it. I enjoyed the fact that Max said he was the best boxer in the UFC and <laughs> you, you seem to disagree with that. Yeah, and then he hit you up. Mate, you're trying to get me in trouble <laughs> at work. I was <laughs> mess. Yeah, yeah. I actually saw him at dinner last night and said, well, you're probably trying to get me in trouble at work. <laughs> uh, I was going to message back and have a bit of fun with him, but uh, no, he's, look, yeah, he, he's not the best, but I, it, it's no question and I'll prove that on Sunday, on Sunday night. Let's see, on Sunday morning, sorry. Let's see what he has to say after Sunday morning. Last couple. 
the sleep schedule everyone's making. Watch, I'll end up blading kicking Dustin in the head, and then like the last one, you know what I mean? I had the boxing crew with me, and I end up blading kicking Donald in the head and breaking his face with my shoulders. You know, I have so many shots, and it, it, it will just come out, you know, magically on the night. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself bouncing back in there, like almost straight away, or do you have to see how the land lies? How are you looking after the fight? You know, I will train within two days of this bout. I will get back training within two days of this bout. So that's that's what after I'm the big old whiskey bottle as well. That's impressive. Well, I won't go through the whole whiskey bottle now. Come on, I've a I've a huge team, a large team with me, as you know, and family and friends and whatnot and that's that's i'll share i'll share my proper 12 with them and have a few drinks and then that'll be that straight uh, two days after i'll be back training last two how's the weight return to 155 how are you feeling i feel very good it's wednesday now mid midday wednesday i feel very energetic i train today you know so you know I'm, I'm in a great spot i'm very excited to get down fully to the 155 limit i've not got le long left to go and i'm excited to see myself on the scales i'm excited to see myself you know, all the aftermath of it all and see the performance and, you know, I, I, I look forward to it very much. I put in a lot of hard work myself, my nutritionist Tristan, we've put in a lot of work to get this uh, body right down to a lightweight frame and that's where I'm at now. And last thing, there's 2,000 fans in the building. They're going to be there at the press conference. They're going to be there at the ceremonial wins as well. First ceremonial since the pandemic. Yeah. Is it nice? Is it nice to have the fans back? Most certainly it is nice. I look forward to feeding off the energy, enjoying the process. I was kind of looking to go into that eerie stadium and not a, not a sound and a bit of uh, echo. And, but, you know, a couple of thousand. It's still, not, it's still not major numbers, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just enjoy the process, the entire thing. Thanks very much for joining me, Connor. Thank you, Oscar. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.